Hey guys, it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. On a friend's page, um, there was this beautiful image, and the image has this woman, um, my friend Joey, it was on her page. She said, a healthy body makes you more confident in every aspect of your life. And I'm thinking that's true. You know, that's true, but, okay, so I'm going to say what's true about it, but I'm going to share some buts because... Um, I think this is a fantastic subject for today because truly um, that is right in so many ways but I also want to share a couple ideas that you can add to that so you guys can have some confidence within yourselves within your business today before bedtime is my goal before bedtime so first of all um, the reasoning that a healthy body makes you feel more confident in every aspect of your life and why right now I kind of have to agree with that is it is absolutely amazing to go closet shopping. Okay, so um, there's going to be some business aspect to this, but a little bit of personal stuff too, because I like sharing personal things because I want you guys to really get to know me. The real quirky, strange, goofy, funny me. To me, when you're beginning to feel comfortable in your own skin again, it to go closet shopping to go into drawers and wear clothes that you haven't been able to wear for a year or two years or maybe even three years okay so to, for me to be able to go closet shopping and wear some of the clothes that I haven't been able to wear in a long time that gives me an amazing amount of confidence right now um, that yeah you know losing almost 15 pounds in six weeks um, deciding to take charge of my health this spring after battling depression and uh, quitting that icky toxic job that was really causing me a lot of health struggles um, and after hibernating all winter up here in Canada I figured it's time you know so I found something that really um, enlightens and inspires not only me but a lot of my clients a lot of my friends and that gives me joy and that also gives me more confidence okay but okay now here's the but I was talking about so but what happens if you are the right size that your doctor says you're supposed to be, you know, for your, for your height, um, you know, for your age? What happens if, you know, you have, you know, a healthy-ish body, but you're not feeling confident? This is what I want to talk to you about for life and for your business, and I did write some notes. Okay, so let's begin. As a young girl, um, knowing that I rode a lot of horses, and so I kind of got, you know, that very strong pear shape. People say, Roxanne, you look fabulous. You know, you don't look like you're overweight. Um, that's because you only see the top half of me in the videos, okay? You don't see my butt. You don't see my thighs. Kind of kind of got some going on down there, okay? It's the Scottish and the Irish in, in my heritage. It's kind of funny. But... Um, when I was in 4-H as a young riding girl, when I would go to my horseshoe uh, competitions, when I would go ride in my equestrian events, when I go in my show jumping, or maybe it was Western Pleasure or Showmanship, I had um, my favorite pair of socks that I would wear inside my caboose. That, those were my lucky socks. Those gave me confidence. I'd ride into that ring and my heels were down and my chin was up and my posture was amazing. And those were my lucky socks and I was I was on the spot you know I was okay so those so you can maybe find if for yourself right now find a special piece of clothing or maybe a piece of jewelry you know I have a very special ring I've had this a long time from a friend and it makes me feel amazing inside it gives me confidence um, sometimes you can have those little spinner rings you know something to kind of keep you busy while you can focus and, and feel confident find jewelry clothing something that's going to make you feel confident Something, maybe it's your favorite shade of lipstick, okay? Something that's going to make you uh, feel like you're going to be able to stand out and shine within your beloved business and also, you know, in life, okay? Imagine that your best friend is sitting out there in the audience with you or when you're picking up the phone and making that call, um, imagine that someone's sitting right beside you, you know, patting your leg, patting your shoulder, saying, that a girl, you can do it, okay? Give someone else some compliments and positive feedback okay and accept it accept it graciously when someone gives you positive feedback um, or gives you a compliment and then give them back like when I get a compliment um, I start 
I can't carry it around very long. A compliment and positive feedback is a gift, and I believe it has to be passed on and given to someone else so they can feel as good and amazing as you can right now. Would you guys think that that's a pretty good one? Can you guys drop um, a one in the comment if you believe that trying something new and being brave and just trying it will give you confidence because you can say, I did it. I got this done, okay? So drop a one in the in the comments below. If you've tried something new this week and you have um, either learned from it and reflected and learned from it how to do it better or just rocked it right off the hop, okay? So definitely, I'm curious about that one. Um, another tip for you is to connect outside your circle, okay? When you're constantly building your circle and you are becoming that connector, Okay, and there's, there's two ways to be a connector. There's the connector of you going out and building new relationships and building your circle daily, which we should if we're in network marketing. Um, if we're in any kind of a business, online or off, we constantly have to be adding to our circle and growing our circle. But the other part of that is connecting. Sometimes we can build our own inner confidence by being a connector between two different parties. Okay, you can be that go between person where the light um, isn't necessarily upon ourselves, where we are shining light upon another person. Um, putting a, our spotlight on other people will never diminish our own light. Okay, it just adds to it. And that gives us confidence because we are know we're connecting two really great people together. Making sure that when we're helping others, like I shared yesterday, we need to be celebrating and we need to be cheering because doing that definitely adds to our own confidence and pours into other people, okay? So cheer and celebrate adds to our confidence. It allows us to glow inside and then share it on the outside, okay? The other one is making sure we're having a lot more fun, okay? We really need to be having fun within life and we need to laugh and we need to smile in a genuine way. So if you're finding that you're just you're not getting the the light the light and the love that you know that you should, um, maybe post something funny on your timeline. Maybe call up a, a friend of yours that is always a, a joker or something like that. Okay, so do something to add some smiles and pour in some laughter and some joy into our into our lives because people are drawn to happy people. Okay, and you most for the most part, um, happy people have some confidence and it's going to rub off on you. All right, the other one is get, um, get online when you're being that connector, but remember that whenever we can, we need to be getting offline and connecting with people in a real and meaningful way. So maybe you're gonna to go to a local farmer's market, maybe there's a, a summer networking event, your chamber of commerce, something within your community where you can get belly to belly, go to the coffee shop with your girlfriends, um, you know, go to these other bigger events whenever possible that you can. Because sometimes when we do too much online uh, chatting and connecting, communicating, con uh, having conversations to try to build our confidence, it can almost give us sometimes a false sense of, of self-esteem, okay? We still need those face-to-face -face interactions, okay? That's why it's important to, you know, whether we're gonna go to a training event or um, an, like an empowerment event, whether it's your company or something larger with another uh, coach or mentor that you can get some additional training, get out of your normal environment online that might create that false sense of you know that that fake mask of um, confidence and positivity so if you can't get out of the house you know maybe you're living in a super small community like I do then you can go to virtual coffee shops like um, I know I missed this month but there's um, an, a woman's community that I belong to that every month we have a virtual online lunch and a coffee but you know if you can't do that, well then you can do like I did today and actually interview another marketer or your best friend who's rocking it out of the house or someone from another company or team that you admire and respect and maybe they'll give you some of their time so you can add light to them and amplify and shine upon them. That helps give confidence. So maybe it's a Skype or it's a Zoom or just picking up the phone. but 
don't do all of your networking and connecting just purely on social media. You still got to have some face to face time. Okay. Um, cause that's where the deeper connections and relationships are built. The other one, a great way to create confidence is by not talking. Okay. Not talking, listen more and don't talk because at the end of the day, um, we gain so much knowledge and data and that can increase our confidence in a very natural way because we are taking in goodness and when we do that, like I said, it allows us to glow on the inside so we can then reshine and share it all on the outside. So those are some of the tips and ideas I wanted to share with you guys today. I've had an amazing week. Thank you guys for cheering and celebrating all around the world as just too much goodness going on. That's why I wanted to share some confidence tips today. Um, if you do have some questions about the system and program that I'm using where I'm not starving myself, you know, I eat real food, I'm not living on shakes and taking handfuls of pills a day, um, you know, and I'm getting to do my body good from the inside out, do reach out and ask me some questions. I'm always happy to share. That's what uh, good networkers do is we share what, what works for all of us and help others along the way and empower and uplift. And you have a fabulous night. Bye, guys.